In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the option one here. Then with a different color combination comes the option two, option three, option four, and option five. Please share, like, and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates, absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the partial circle just click it here in the center shape outline make it no outline and then go to the align center align middle and here I'm going to make the height and width as 1.5. All right. Again, make sure to align center, align middle here. And you can see this are uh, two small yellow circles. So I'm just going to increase the size here, something like this. And this one, I'm going to bring it till here. All right. So now I'm going to duplicate this slide by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to increase the height to two. All right, and then give some different color combination here again align center align middle send to back and reduce this only this size here all right so it looks something like this and don't worry about the colors we can change the colors according to our requirements if you want to change from the beginning you can just change any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give this color and then i'm going to give the color which is a kind of blue all right again Select the second partial circle and press Ctrl D to duplicate and give a different color here. Again, make sure to give the height and width as 2.5 now. All right, and align center, align middle, send it to back and further reduce the size only from one corner. Okay, and again, press Ctrl D. I'm going to give a different color now and for this I'm going to make the height as 3 again make sure to align center align middle send to back and reduce the size further and then comes the last one press ctrl D give a different color combination here again make this as 3.5 and align center align middle and send this to back and this one i'm going to put it something like this so you can see here i have uh, make a shape which looks something like this now the next one which i'm going to do is i'm going to add some arrow to it so go to insert shapes select the arrow draw the arrow from here till here all right shape outline the same color i'm going to use it and shape outline the width i'm going to increase to maybe four quarter okay so let me just zoom it so it looks something like this all right then the second one go to insert shapes select the arrow once again now this one will be like this all right shape outline i'm going to give the color which is a dark blue and here i'm going to give the same weight all right then comes the other one So this again from the center sorry let me just delete again i'll add it from the center i'm going to just make it maybe this much size the same color which is the i believe green all right or teal color and then give the same weight so like this i'm going to add five arrows So here, which is, I believe it is red and the weight is same weight. And then the last comes. And this color would be this and the same weight. All right so it looks something like this now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to group this one this and this all right press ctrl g to group it then select the second one the red one and press ctrl g 
the third one press control G you can see here select this hold the shift key select this arrow and press control G and then the last one press control G all right so it looks something like this again if you want you can just send this to back you can see here I've just sent this to back so this one would be sent to back then comes this one sent to back then this sent to back and then this one sent to back here all right the next thing which i'm going to do is going to insert shape select one more uh oval shape here a small oval shape draw a small oval shape here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give a gray color for the time being and then i'm just going to increase the size so you can see here it looks something like this all right so now if you want to increase the size because it's very small so i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a and press ctrl g to group it then hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here how much size we need you can just increase it and wherever you want to place it you can just place and then comes the the detail text okay so this is option a make it bold use the same color which is the orange all right and put it here and then go to insert text box add detail text here and this will be here reduce the font size and then i'm going to select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and place it next to each arrow option all right and that's it this one press ctrl shift g to ungroup it and now we have to just change the color and the option number this is option b and this will go with a blue color this is option c this will go with the teal color then comes the option d this would be kind of a red and then option e it goes with a kind of a yellow color all right so this is how we have to do it and then insert text box you can add for example five options some title you can add it increase the size and for this you can right mouse click go to the format shape under the effects go to the shadow and you can just give any shadow of it, which is offset top left all right so this is how and again if you want to do some basic animation effect you can do some animations all right for example i can just go to the animations and i can just make it a kind of say uh, wipe effect so it comes something like this all right so you can give the second options again wipe so all right so it depending on you your taste or requirement you can give any animations as you like